I'm at the National MS Society Charity Walk MS event in Long Beach, and I ask people, how does MS affect your life? I can't do things that I once did. Um, We're baby girl. I don't know what normal is anymore. I really don't. Um, it's, it's difficult because no two days are alike. Probably if I told her and, I was at a park, uh, she probably would have yeah. I can't go back to what I was before I was diagnosed, but the only thing I can say is that I will not you gonna ride your bike? get me. I can will I ride your bike? fighting and screaming Why before not? takes me down. Every once in a while, you know, I'll have a flare-up. It's mostly numbness and tingling, but um, they give you those good old steroids and it knocks it down. Um, mostly for me, it's fatigue, though, is my biggest, is my biggest uh, symptom, so. But... Everyone's tired, so that's how I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good attitude. I'm not able to work because I have a lot of cognitive issues. And um, I am not able to do some of the active things that maybe my friends might be doing because of walking too much or walking in the heat, especially. MS affects my life in every way. Because personally, I mean, prior to having MS, I used to be a touring musician. I used to travel and tour the world and playing guitar. And honestly, I can't dance around and play music the way I used to. I can still play my guitar, but I have to say that my mobility has definitely diminished. So, but I'm glad and I'm grateful that I'm here. So, it must affect my life in multiple ways. It affects me. It was really tough getting diagnosed I, back in 2020, in late 2020. Um, I would say it was mostly emotionally and mentally taxing because it was a new chapter I was opening myself up to. I had never been to the doctors more than I had been before. So having to make multiple doctor's visits, I want to say that's the worst part right now. I just was in the hospital a couple months ago, actually. Um, I just want to say it's like, like uh, I think that's the worst part for me. Um, but, you know, I have a great support system and I have a lot of family and friends who encourage me and the Lord has been my constant, so, um, no matter how financially, emotionally, or, uh, physically taxing it is, you know, I know I have a great support system to keep me, keep me going and running grace. Yeah. Not so much. I was sitting outside one day and somebody said, what's wrong with you? Because I'm still at that facility getting therapy. And I went, nothing. And I wasn't thinking that he was asking why I was there. But I just didn't have it. I, there was, there's been nothing bothering me. So I'm like, nothing's wrong with me. And then I have an accident. Back to my tibia and figure out. So I got a little setback happening, but I'll come back at it. I gave it six months, and then I'm going to be back on that walker walking in, walking out the door. Well, I got remarried. I happen, we're happy. My wife has MS now, the one I just married. So we're having a happy life together. Or did you meet because of MS or prior? We met, we met at our facility, which at one time was an MS facility. MS is walking, my walking. Oh my gosh. Well, now I live in a nursing facility. I have them taking care of me. It slowed my pace down, but not all the way down, because I still try to be more. Yeah, and uh, my family's kind of far away, so I don't get to see them very much anymore. But I have a lot of loved ones around me now, a lot of people that relate to what I'm going through. But life is good. You know, it's just getting to me.